Hey what's up guys, Chiu here so AFK right now is back with a new patch update which is the 1.22 patch and in this update they include a lot of cool stuff and interesting changes which we need to go one by one here there's a lot of changes uh, currently they have an UI issue which is display issue in the game you see here the ran home we couldn't see the buildings the guild is gone Temple of Ascension is gone, the store is also gone. They actually provide a link to update for the newest patch, which is not on the Play Store yet because they're still, uh, still finding a way to fix it. But I tried to follow the link, it doesn't work also. So you guys need to bear with me for now, as we couldn't see some of the display here. It also affects the Arcane Labyrinth stage, like here you couldn't even see like this stage is it an elite stage or a, a normal stage but hopefully they will fix it soon okay they actually added a new feature here the tavern by games so when we add one we will straight jump into the tavern noble tavern and last time uh when you sum summon a hero summon a hero you used to get tavern token and once you accumulate 100 tavern token you are able to exchange for one elite hero of your choice but now it doesn't seem like i have an elite hero of my choice and the maximum here is 30 so once once every milestone reach they will they will change this reward here this reward here will be the primordial emblem which will be a new feature here uh, for this feature to able to be applied those heroes must all be mythic example if you have a mythic Belinda then you can apply for this primordial emblem for the signature item signature item is a special item and once you activate this signature item the hero will become very powerful I will show you a, a preview of this very powerful signature item here. For example, this the left hand side here. This is the signature item. On top, they will give you a description, the name of the signature item, Staff of the Light. So by building this Staff of the Light, Belinda will gain some, some of the attributes like critical HP, attack and defend, defense up. And the most important here will be the signature item has a skill here which is called Gift of Heaven. All allies that are receiving the effect of Blessing will have 40% chance to activate the Divine Retribution. Okay, do not confuse you. I will go to her skills here. All allies that have the effect of Blessing will have a chance 40% chance to activate Divine Retribution. So Blessing is actually Belinda Bless the one of the allies with highest attack rating and increase their rating by 50% and their crit rating by 50%. So meaning to say in the battlefield they will only have two allies which have doing this blessing. Unless it's laboring stages if you get the uh, rel relic which uh, all of the allies will affect by blessing then it is different story. So for those allies that have this buff blessing, when they normal attack or when they cast skill, they have addition they have an additional forty percent to cast this divine retribution on enemy. It's like an additional casting, you know. So, but this for this uh divine retribution, uh, will only deal forty percent of the original damage. But it's quite nice here. Let's go back to the signature item so for every four seconds sorry for every five seconds we can activate three times so uh, this is an additional damage which will boost our dps our team dps a lot and this we will need the primordial emblem 20 of them these are very rare material and i I happen to got it because I cleared chapter 17 and my current stage is on chapter 20. They reward us 52. We need to be wise on to choose on which hero you need. 
there are lots of other heroes if you ascend them to mythic plus mythic sorry mythic and above they will able to unlock this um, signature hero okay back to the dark forest wait for the van home they actually also having changes on the store primordial emblem you can get from the store for now if you complete stage 17 and this i'm not i have no idea on this fortitude emblem chest uh open to randomly receive emblems i'm not very sure this emblem have what use but the cost is three thousand we need to find out later for the others it's still the same no no changes okay the dark forest tab they actually add a new feature called voyage of wonders it's a limited time uh, feature so they will unlock when they are voyages to embark on it so not really sure what activities they will have in this but we will need to keep an eye when it is unlocked and so to enter this feature for the campaign stages they adjusted the difficulties from stage 17 chapter 17 onwards so chapter 17 onwards you will you will expect expect some changes some formation changes difficulty reduce and so on so hopefully we can get through these stages soon okay for the heroes they have updated for with two heroes here one is the light bearer hero which is called rosaline rosaline uh, is more on a supporter and i heard she was the sorry she is the best support now currently because of her ultimate here the motivation this is the first hero which having the ultimate that is more most like is more like a passive ultimate so uh at the start of the battle rosaline will follow the highest attack rating allies in the battlefield until the end of the battle so she's more like a personal mate here she will attend all your needs like healing like regenerating energy here yeah, her ultimate here like throwing throwing crockeries on the enemies to stun the enemies if the enemy attempts to attack the uh, the ally she is following and lastly is the spring cleaning she'll be invulnerable for four seconds and she will push away any enemy while she's having cleaning here so why is she so op here because of her ultimate she will restore fully restore energy of the ally rosaline is currently following so she will constantly provide energy to the allies and also she will heal the ally following allies and also increases their damage you see raises their attack rating by 60 percent if you pair like for example shamira then i would i think shamira can be the spammer in the game already so she will just spam her ultimate regen regen and just kill off everything which is very op here the next hero will be elijah and lila elijah is a boy and lila is a girl so this hero is quite unique because both of them uh, are individual individual heroes here when they enter the battlefield but both of them share same hp and energy which is see here and they have an additional 35 health and once they cast their ultimate they will get uh, they will provide haste to the entire battlefield allies will gain haste for eight seconds for grace the boy which is elijah will do the healing and for the girl Lila, she will do the energy replenishment. Uh, this energy replenishment will replenish the highest remaining energy in the in the battlefield. So, for example, your Shamira is almost having full energy to release her ultimate. Then, Lila will regenerate her uh, her energy for forty points, so she can immediately release her ultimate. Unity is uh, very close related to Grace. So the last two allies to be affected by Lila and Ajija Grace, they will form a union. So, for example, if Rosaline and Shamira get healed by Eliza and get replenished energy by Lila, then both of them will form a union. 
So after forming a union, both of them will take damage uh, each other. Like for how to say, for example, if Shamira take hundred damage, then uh, Rosalind will take thirty damage for Shamira. It's like sharing damage here. But there's more here bottom. Uh, attack and defense for both of the union will increase by twenty percent. And the more the most OP buff here will be attack, defense, crit rating, dodge, accuracy, life leash attributes are all increased by 15% of the union heroes. So both of them will be very OP when they form a union. So I would think this hero is very nice here and it pairs very well with Rosaline. That I guess that is why both of them come out in the same patch, right? <laughs> The last one will be clean, so both of them are twins, right? Twins should uh, care each other. So if Lila gets CC or crowd control, then Elijah will immediately clear the crowd control and give her shield to block off 280% damage. Sorry, 280% of their attack rating. And if another way around, if Elijah is being attacked by enemy, then Lila will teleport to his location, uh, attacking the enemy and knocking back, knocking knocking back them. So trying to protect the Elijah here. So by upgrading, you can increase the shield and the knockback stun will increase for wow up to four seconds. This is very nice here. Quite interesting heroes here. The last one will be the signature item, which just now I show you. I will try to show every of the uh, hero here. I have one, two, three, four, five mythic. Let's go to Ferrario. Ferrario mit signature item is called Hunter's Hand, and his skill is called Anguish Spirit, which normal attack will cause an evil spirit to haunt the enemy target if a critical strike occurs. Mm, this is quite normal here. It's it's like you able to summon more. Spirit to haunt on the enemy if you land a crit. Mm, okay, the next one will be yes, Brutus. When the weak signature item skill called Upsurge, he will restore ten percent of max HP after his ability last gap is used. Okay, this is this is nice also. Brutus, divine purge. Enemy heroes have their energy recovery effect reduced by thirty percent for four seconds. If they are struck by divine strike or normal attack become a critical strike. Divine strike, uh, if you see here, the skill will be if you strike the enemy and cause uh, cause them to fall down and stun for a few seconds. And also he will gain uh, damage reduction. So while he using this skill, or if his normal attack gain critical, then the enemy will get lower uh, energy regeneration rate. So that's all about this. The last one I have here will be Nemora. The Blossom Spear. Signature item skill is Nature's Touch. Normal attack heals Nemora's weakest ally for 60% of her own attack rating. So this is, this is very nice here because normally Nemora will not do a lot of DPS in the battlefield. Her main purpose in the battlefield will be charm enemy, heal allies, regenerate energy and, and the ultimate to heal, better, heal the whole allies. Um, so if we have an additional healing here, which is very nice. So definitely I will go for Belinda because Belinda is very OP here in my opinion. With additional damage from the another allies and also they will they will uh, reduce the accuracy of uh, enemy. If you see, reduces the accuracy of all enemy target that takes damage. Alright. For the upgrades, I will think I will leave it to the next video. So that's all for today. If you like my video, you can help subscribe on my channel. And currently, I'm I'm ongoing on the some of the guides on hero review. So if you have any heroes that you wish to uh, let me review or I I could help you help out. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys.